Thank you for participating today. We will now begin with an opening statement from Coach Joe Pasternak and then go to questions. Use the raise hand feature to indicate you would like to ask a question. When you're called on for your question, please state your name and affiliation first as Coach cannot see you on the screen. Um, Coach, please give us a brief opening statement and then we will go ahead to questions. Well, we played a heck of a basketball team today. We have so much respect for Creighton. They had a really, really good season. They're very, very well coached. They're very difficult to play against. And I thought our guys competed as well as we can compete and really had a chance at the end to win it. A couple details down the stretch hurt us, but I was very proud of our guys' effort. Thanks, Coach. You mentioned it, obviously not the result you guys wanted today, but just talk about how proud you are of your team, how they competed today, and how they competed all season to get to this point. Yeah, I just got finished talking to our guys, and it's a very difficult time for all of them and our whole staff because, you know, the game was right there for us, and this game can't define our season. Our players did such an amazing job through off the court with COVID, on the court, competing for championships, being the first uh, conference championship since 2003, sole championship, getting the conference tournament championship. And it was an unbelievable historical season for UCSB. And it's a tough way to go down today. Can you talk a little bit about your team's experience here in Indianapolis, obviously playing in kind of a different looking tournament this year with all the games in Indiana. Just talk about maybe some positives from, from that experience for your team. Well, I tell you what, the NCA, their planning is unbelievable. And I think uh, it's to their credit, Dan Gavitt's credit, for the leadership and how detailed they have things so there could be an NCAA tournament. And I was just fortunate and our team is so grateful to have been involved in such a historical event. Obviously a tight game throughout, but just not able to pull it, pull it out down the stretch. Is there any one, one or two things that you noticed really um, that kind of prevented you guys from being able to get the win today? You know, I thought they had some really key offensive rebounds that hurt us, especially the one at the end. Um, last four minutes of the first half, they scored 11 points, and I think that really hurt us. But we held Creighton in the second half to 29 points, and that's really tough to do. Um, credit to them. They're a great team, great coaching staff. They do a great job. And looking forward into next year, what are some positives you think your program can really take from, from this experience here? Well, I think our guys got a taste of winning championships going to the NCAA tournament, and I don't think anybody's satisfied. We weren't happy just to be here. We wanted to advance, and I think there'll be a hunger, a chip on our shoulder moving forward. Any other questions for Coach? All right, one from Austin Montgomery. Austin, go ahead with your question, please. Hey, Coach. Uh, Austin Montgomery from Mid Major Madness. I just quite want to talk uh, about that run at the end of the second half. Earlier, Ja'Cory wasn't really get going. He was doubled off the screens. What were some adjustments you made to help get them the ball and get your team going? Well, I thought we set some more off the ball screens so he wouldn't be doubled. And um, I thought that really helped him. Any additional questions for Coach? Thank you so much for your time today, Coach. We will be joined momentarily by Ja'Cory McLaughlin. Please use this time to raise your hand if you have questions for Ja'Cory. Thank you. We are now joined by Ja'Cory McLaughlin and we'll begin the press conference. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you'd like to ask a question. And when you're called on, please state your name and affiliation first so Ja'Cory knows who's asking questions. Um, we will start first with a question from Austin Montgomery. Uh, hey, Ja'Cory, I'm Austin from Mid-Major Mattis. I just want to talk just about that last play where you're able to make the extra pass to so there. What were you seeing uh, when you got when they uh, trapped you in that situation. Can you just kind of take us through that play? 
Yeah, I was looking to come off and uh, and, and shoot it, but they were they were on me, double team me, and uh, Amadou was wide open, so just made the right pass right there, and he's money in the paint. And then can you just and then again, can you just kind of tell us just like how they were defending you early? You only took two shots in the first half because they put so much emphasis emphasis on you. Like, what was your, um, just during the game, what was your um, attitude just, like, getting the extra pass? And what adjustments did you make earlier when you had to get um, points for your team later on? Yeah, I think just early in the game, uh, just double me out ball screens and things like that, being aggressive off cuts. So uh, later in the game, just being more aggressive when I catch the ball on the one more pass and things like that, coming off the screen, not just looking to pass. So uh, just being more aggressive in the second half was, was my game plan. And then just kind of just describe this, like, whole experience for you. You had a, a, I know the season didn't end the way you guys wanted it to, but you're uh, AP All-American honorable mention. You guys made the tournament for the first time in a decade. You won a Big West championship. Just kind of describe like, what the senior year has been for you and your teammates. Yeah, yeah, it's been great for me, for my teammates. Uh, we started in the summer on Zooms on the tennis courts and just we put a lot of work in as a team so it was great to, to be able to get here it didn't it didn't end like we wanted it to but uh i love this team for and they're my brothers for life i think thank you can you talk a little bit to just about your experience here in indianapolis um what it's been like really playing in this unique environment yeah yeah uh all in the same hotel uh, we got our own rooms, things like that. Uh, kind of just been in the in the hotel the whole time, but it's been a great experience for me and my team. Uh, just being able to get here and sharing this experience, and uh, like I said, it didn't end the way we wanted to, but it was a great experience uh, coming here. Can you talk about what it means to you in your senior season to have this kind of run, make it to the tournament, and make such an impact really on the future of the program at UC Santa Barbara? Yeah, it uh, it means a lot to me and my teammates, just all the work that we put in to get here. And uh, these were some of our goals that we had, and uh, it just feels really great to uh, be able to get to this point. Any additional questions for Ja'Cory? Thank you so much, Ja'Cory, for your time. That's it for this post-game news conference. A transcript of the coach's interview will be provided by ASAP Sports at www.ncaa.com slash transcripts. You can also find a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at www.ncaa.veritone.com. Thank you all for joining us.